Authority Local Forecast. Well, it's exciting for us in the sense that we've had much cooler than normal temperatures to start out the work week. But it may not be the finish that we have, or at least equivalent to the start of it. We'll, we'll get into the detail, details of all that in just a few. But in the meantime, your RV World Human Sky Cam giving you a glimpse of the Yuma area on this Tuesday evening, this super cool Tuesday evening. All right, here's what we're looking at beyond this vantage point and beyond what we're seeing right there. Your satellite radar perspective, you can see that we still have traces of that cloud coverage kind of rolling in from the East Pacific. Maybe not as concentrated as what it was, but certainly still there nonetheless, and it should be there through much of the evening as well. Your wind advisory, well, we certainly have it near the Ocotillo area, and that should continue on into tomorrow evening as well. And speaking of the winds, here is the latest on that. Uh, yeah, we're packing a little bit of a punch over along the Colorado River corridor going into eastern Yuma County. But the lion's share of it pretty much near the Ocotillo area, even down into Mexicali as well. Now, temperature has certainly been affected in a nice way. This is a silver lining what we've had today. And yeah, we're in the 60s. So this is quite a treat for us considering by weeks end we're not going to have overnight temperatures uh, this comfort or comfortable. So it, it will be a little bit more on the higher side to say the least, but we'll take it for as long as we can. And the reason why we have it is this low pressure disturbance uh, continuing to circulate over in the west and that is going to continue to give us the nice cool air as we get on into your Wednesday before we really start to kind of get a little bit of a sizzle by the end of the week but you can see it's really affected much of the west let alone the desert southwest in the temperature realm and there's that trough continuing to dig and you can see the white lines there the pressure gradient squeezing together that's indicative of the wind speeds and yes we could Continue to have those winds somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 to 30 miles an hour in the coming days. But this particular trough is going to start to weaken and high pressure is going to come rolling in behind it and it's going to be a pretty strong ridge. So it's going to pack a bit of a punch and you'll see an extended forecast. But starting with your metrocast, you can see by the time we get to the 2 p.m. hour, we'll be at about 80 degrees and then we'll start to turn the temperatures down eventually. But yeah, we should keep it in the low 80s as we get on into the evening time. Here's a look at your air quality index presented by the Imperial County Air Pollution Control District and we have depreciated considerably in that particular area and for your Yuma International Airport extended forecast we're going to start the forecast off pretty nice. Of course we're going to have a wind uh, capacity to go with it as well but then the heat will definitely come and it's not going anywhere. It's sticking around not only for the weekend but even into next week. 